Assalamualaikum Alaikum dear friends Today in 2020 I am here to explain telling the secrets and tricks to, to solve that type of practicals of with replacement and without replacement of discrete probability distributions chapter 8 of BSC statistics part 1 that practical is very very important for you I will tell you secrets and tricks which is are very very important so must watch that lecture completely land and don't skip any step if you skip any step you will lose everything so let's start the lecture first step will tell you that you must prepare chapter number 10 simple regression correlation that practicals are also very important I will also plot that lecture now moving the uh, my main point which is with the placement and without the placement. First of all, I tell you that um, with the placement, number one point is with the placement. I'm telling the difference between with and without in that type of discrete value distribution spectacle with the placement. And second point here without the placement. Must remember that in with replacement we also we we always use binomial distribution. Must remember binomial distribution. Must remember in with replacement practical we always use binomial distribution, which is the formula here: probability of capital X equal to small x is equal to n c x t raised to power x q raised to power n minus x must remember very very important point and secrets next without replacement must remember in without replacement we always use hypergeometric distribution hypergeometric distribution must remember yeah, you know that the formula of hypergeometric distribution is probability of capital X equal to small x is equal to KCX K this is a K KCX multiplied by capital L minus K C small n minus x divided by N C N. That's formula of hypergeometric distribution. So that's the difference in each practical must remember that secrets which nobody tells you about that now move the next point here capital n capital n here are the total number of items are the total number of item and small n small n here shows selected items small n shows here selected item must remember next point here are k what is the k k are the number of successes k are the number of successes must remember next point here i am telling you that that's the main points here next point what is that p must remember p is equal to which is the probability probability of success always equal to small k over capital N very very important point must remember the probability of p always equal to small k over capital N now q you easily calculate because not that q is equal to 1 minus p so that is the main point of this lecture you can take the screenshot of that which is very very important now moving uh, now telling the hints to how to how to solve that type of practical now moving the next point next point is here very very important and the statement is here from a well shuffled ordinary deck of 52 cards so here total cards so here total cards which is capital N uh, is equal to here 52 next clear point next move to the next point here the playing cards 13 are selected you know that 
you know that small n is the selected item. I already told you that here. Small n is the selected items which are 30. Is that clear the point? Next. Next is here. Is written here without replacement. What is without replacement? That is simple. And first of all, point here. By first of all, point here. X must remember that the range of 0, 1 to so n. Must remember that the range of hypergeometric distribution. I already told you that it is in without replacement, we always use hypergeometric distribution. The range of hyperdistribution is 0 to n. Here because here n is 13. So we write here uh, simply you can say that 0, 1, 2, up to so on 13. You can do it in cell. Next point 0 to range 13. That's data of x. Next point. Next point here we write here for probability of capital X is equal to small x is equal to k c x multiply by capital N minus k c small n minus x divided by n c n. You can easily calculate here. We put the first of all here k. What are the k? I already told you that k are the number of successes. So here the number of successes 0 to n. The number of successes are 13. So k is here 13. Selected items are also 13. And k is also here 13. So as you can easily calculate here. That's values. All values are given. Just you can solve easily. Capital N k is k. K is given 13. 13 c 0. You call x value here 0. Next. Capital N minus k. Capital N k is 52. 52 minus k. Where is k? K is 13. C. Next point. Next point is here. Small n 13. Uh, small n is here. 13 minus x. X is 0. Divided by n c n. 52 c 13. You can easily calculate here. For, for calculator. You can easily, uh, using calculator, you can easily calculate its value. Similarly, you can calculate the value of 2 up to so on 30. You can do it in cell. So I hope that you have clear concepts in how can we use that data of practical in hypergeometric distribution. You can say that in without replacement. Now moving the next point. Next point is here with the replacement. What can we do in here in with replacement? Very, very important point. Now, next point here, uh, you have to calculate here, sorry, you have to calculate a remaining amount, expectation of that, also that. Expectation, you already put the point. Now, moving the next point. Next point is here, you can easily calculate expectation. You know that expectation is mean. Expectation is mean. The formula you already know that summation x probability of x. So next step will be here. You can put here x probability of x. You can easily calculate by adding that value. We'll get summation x probability of x. Very simple. You will multiply that value x multiply by probability. The dash value you can calculate the value. 0 multiply by dash value. We put that value here. X value here. Then adding that value get Expectation x value, which is expectation of x. That's the point. Next point is here. Small n k is given here. Expectation of x is equal to small n k over capital N. That is the left hand side. You can that is the right hand side. You can easily calculate here. Small n you already know that 13. K is also 13. And capital N is 52. You multiply that together. Then left hand side will be right hand side. That is the verification. That's their point. And second point is here how to calculate variance. Now, next point here, you know that variance of x is equal to submission x scalar probability of x minus submission x probability of x completing scale. You can easily calculate here. We put here x scalar probability of x. You can easily calculate x scalar probability of x. You will multiply that x value to 
एक्स फॉर बैंडी ऑफ एक्स यू कैन एंजिल क्या है बिकॉज एक्स एक्स फॉर बैंडी ऑफ एक्स विच मीन बिकॉज टू एक्स स्क्यूअर फॉर बैंडी ऑफ एक्स वेरी सिंपल नाउ एडिंग दैट वैल्यू यू कैन देयर समिशन एक्स स्क्यूअर फॉर बैंडी ऑफ एक्स so put the values here we can easily calculate variance and next step is here verification verification here variance of x is equal to a uh, small n k over capital n capital n minus k over capital n and last year capital n minus small n over capital n minus n so that is the left hand side you will prove the right hand side which is verification put the values here Small n is thirteen, k is thirteen divided by fifty-two. Next, capital N I will have fifty-two. Fifty-two minus k, k is you can know that thirteen divided by fifty-two bracket. Similarly, fifty-two minus small n. Small n is thirteen divided by capital here fifty-two minus one. You can easily solve that here. You will get right hand side. So now, so I hope that you have clear concepts in that. Now moving the next point here, with the placement. Now moving the next point, with the placement. So don't skip any step. Moving the next point here. And uh, next by moving the next point here, with the placement. Very very easy step. Uh, write the statement. If four the bulk thirty cards are selected, you know that capital N is the fifty two and selected items are thirteen. I have already told you that. Next point. Next point with the placement, you can to get the calculate probability of number of diamonds. You know that you easily calculate P is equal to probability of diamond. Probability of Diamond. You can easily calculate probability of diamond, which is equal to small k over capital N, which I already told you that k is thirteen k and also number of thirteen. Here thirteen divided by fifty two, thirteen minus the thirteen, thirteen four the fifty two. So p is one over four. Similarly, k will be one minus p. You can easily calculate here. Next point. Next point here because this is a visual based point. So the range is zero to n. Binomial range is we will use here binomial distribution. I already told that in with replacement we always use binomial distribution, and that is the range of binomial distribution zero to n. Both uh, hypertrophic distribution and binomial distribution have range same zero to n. Next point. Binomial distribution. I already told you that as function here. So zero up to so on thirty because n is the thirty value. So range will be zero to thirty. Similarly, we put here zero one two up to so on thirty just like before. We put here binomial distribution. X equal to x. N C X P raised power x. Pure raised power number. You can easily calculate here. P value is one over four. We put the value here simple. And the value is here thirteen, thirteen c zero x value p is one over four. And so is that value will put here three over four. Similarly, so we you can calculate here that value. Next, n here uh, n is thirteen minus zero. You can easily calculate here by calculator. Next point, you can easily calculate similarly. So I hope that you have clear concepts in that. Now you, you can easily calculate here expectation of n p. You can easily calculate here expectation of n p. For expectation, you can easily calculate just like before. A will be x probability of x, and also will be here x square probability of x. Similarly, just like before, you can easily calculate here expectation, which is mean, and this is left hand side, and that's n p. N is thirteen. B P which will be here. You can calculate here p value is one over four. Then left hand side will be Right hand side. Similarly, you can easily calculate here uh, variance of x. Variance of x you can easily calculate here, which is n p q. We put the value of variance here, which is left hand side. We put the value here thirteen uh, one over four q value, which is here three over 
3 over 4, 4 the value here can easily calculate the experience, then verification will be completed. So I hope that you have gained more points and concepts. Uh, so, so must also watch that, also share that lecture as much as you can. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, then can you must subscribe to my YouTube channel and must press bell icon button for get notification of my new lecture and the new practical. Goodbye.